What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Forza Horizon 4 and as usual, I'm gonna go ahead and try to build an icon. This is a series that I brought to the channel not too long ago. People have constantly suggested this specific character. This is Brian's Skyline from Too Fast, Too Furious. Also now in 4K, so hopefully the video actually looks kind of good for you guys. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is the R34. Right now it's completely stock, obviously. Now. I'm gonna go ahead and just make this announcement now. I know for a fact, right? I know for an absolute fact that we won't have the same body kit, the same C West kit that's in real life, not in real life, or else in the movie, on this car. So there's not a lot of stuff that we can make this thing, you know, literally identical to the car that's in, in game, or not in game, in the movie or real life. So I'm gonna have to go as close as possible. However, I know for a fact that the design is going to be the one that's gonna set this car apart from the standard R34, so yeah, it's gonna look much, much closer to the actual car itself, but it's not gonna look identical because, like I said, we don't really have all the kids. Can I just, can I just take a moment really quick and actually appreciate how ahead of its time Need for Speed Carbon was with the autoscope feature? Can you guys, I don't know how many of you guys actually played Need for Speed Carbon, but if you remember it, how ahead of its time it was where you could literally create your own kids. You just have to add like a kit on a car and then you just modify that kit the way you want to. The gaps, the, the whatever, the vents, you can change the, the depth of them and all that sort of stuff. It's just mad how good that autoscope feature actually was. And uh, I honestly think we need it in this in this type of game. Uh, especially a game that you don't have the licenses to pretty much, you know, add whatever kits you want in it. You can kind of get close to stuff by kind of replicating it with the autoscope feature. Um, but yeah, maybe they got in trouble and they couldn't add it again, or maybe it just you know, wasn't as big of a thing. But I honestly thought it was a very, very good idea, regardless. Anyway, if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy the content here, then as usual, please subscribe. I really, really, really appreciate every single one of you guys that has subscribed recently and have been watching the videos. It's made this one so much like better for me, and especially seeing that sub count go up a lot, uh, helping me get closer and closer to my goals. It's very, very good. So, like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, you haven't subscribed yet or whatever, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Anyway, let's actually get started with this video. I, I'm honestly just enjoying driving this thing around with my graphics ramped up like that. It, it just looks so good. All the reflections. I think there was a feature, or not a feature, like an option in, in my graphics settings that I could turn off to the extreme instead of just on ultra. So that's why all of the reflections and everything just look a little bit better. It's just so good looking, th this whole game now. I honestly didn't even think I could run it, but I can. So yeah, I really do hope that you guys are enjoying the way this game looks, because it looks really, really good to me. Um, but yeah, let's let's start modifying this thing. I've talked way too much at the start of this video without actually starting to modify it. So I have a few pictures, obviously, next to me, so I can actually see what the car looks like, so we can you know try to get as close as possible to it. Uh, as for power-wise, it said it had around 450 horsepower, so I'm just going to get it to about 450 horsepower, and uh, I'll leave it like that. But... I know for a fact the biggest difference, actually we'll start off with that, uh, I'm going to start off with the paint. The paint is going to be the most important thing here. That is what's going to set this car apart from the standard GTRs. I like the fading on it, right? There's there's a little bit of a of a fade going on. If you guys actually pay attention to it closely, like between the, the front like stripes and the back stripes. However, the stripes do go all the way to the front bumper and this one seems to have it matched a little bit better here um this was just way too blue same with this one i mean those are all on r33s they're not even on the r34 um yeah by the looks of things uh this is it this one which one was it no it's this one this one here seems to be very very good so far it also seems to line up just just right so i'm gonna put this one on and just see I'm gonna put this one on, have a look. Obviously the, the CUS kit could have helped a lot here. Uh which was I think changed some of the bumpers and stuff like that. Um okay. I like the way it has the sponsors everywhere. That's good. I'm just having a look at the design really quick here. The stripes need to be a little bit more faded, to be honest, in my opinion. They're just a little bit too blue. Just a little bit too blue. It's just too bright in color. Other than that, it doesn't look terrible. 
doesn't look terrible. Maybe, right, maybe it's just the car in the movie was just like dirty or whatever. In the pictures that I'm seeing out of here, it just looks a little bit more faded. But there definitely is like a type of gradient on the bonnet stripes. So, uh, actually this one has it. It's just really, really deep in, into, the, into the body. You can see it. You can see the gradient once it gets to the front bumper. But it doesn't have the gradient on the stripes on the bonnet here. Okay. Let's just add parts to it. Because we, we definitely have to, to be able to get the stick to be a little bit better. Uh, I'm not going to engine swap it. I will go to this. Again, like I said, C-West kit all around. Don't really have a C-West kit to add on to this thing. Um, I guess top secret kit, maybe. Actually... Actually, this is probably one of the closest kits to it, even though it doesn't really seem like it. Um, but if you think about it, right, except if it didn't have those massive, massive spotlights or fog lights on the front of it, it would be very, very close. The Astro Car itself has a, a couple of vents on the side as well on the kit. Plus, it's a lot, it's a lot more, not deeper, but like it, it sticks out a lot more than the standard uh, Skyline bumper. That's why I think the top secret one is kind of good, except the bottom lip is just too short. That's why this one kind of sticks out a little bit more, and it looks a little better. Um, yeah, the only thing I don't like, like I said, is the spotlights. And that's the only thing that ruins it. If it was like a mixture between the top secret kit and the um, and this kit here, I think it would have been good. But yeah, just overall shape of it, except with the spotlights. Maybe I'll just go with the top secret kit. The Nismo kit is just, it, it's good, it just seems a little too small. And I know for a fact that as soon as I put a... Uh, a side skirt on this thing, the front kit is just going to be way too high. Like, the front bumper is just going to be way too high off the ground. I'm going to go with this kit. As much as I don't like those spotlights, I'm going to go with them. Top secret bonnet, or if that's not a bonnet, that's a, that's a wing. Um, yeah. Put that on. Even though the sides of the actual wing were blue and not just the top of it. Um, I'll put the top secret wing on. That is the closest thing we can get to. As for our rear bumper... Uh, we have the June kit here, which is pretty mad. This one, I guess, is a little closer to everything. Just the way it sticks out a little bit and then up. It's just slightly lower and deeper. Um, yeah, we don't really have another kit that's similar to this one. This is probably the closest one that we have to the actual car in real life. And then our side skirts, like I said, as you can see, if I was going to put, like, deeper skirts all around the side, it just wasn't going to look good for, uh... For the front end, it, it just would have been too high. Uh, I think Top Secret Kit is decent for this. Um, either that or the June Kit. It's nice and deep. It doesn't have any of these lines on the actual kit in the in the like um, in the movie or whatever. Um, the the Sea West Kit actually does stick out quite a bit, and it's it's much much deeper. So that's why I think the Top Secret Kit actually suits this thing a lot when it comes to replicating it. I really don't like the front bumper. Really don't like the front bumper. What does it look like with this? It doesn't even look that bad. I might just put this one on. It just doesn't suit it. I don't like those... Those spotlights. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with this with this kit. Just because. Even though it doesn't seem to match it too well. See what I mean by the Nismo kit being too high? At least the top secret one is a little lower. Yeah, it's, it's still not perfect, but I, I'll leave that one on. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with some sports tires here, as I'm gonna keep this thing as a rear or all-wheel drive. Um, as for our wheels, our wheels are gonna be a little bit of an issue as well. I'm gonna try to find a set of wheels for this, that's suited, that's very, very close to the ones in the movie. I think the ones in the movie are two-piece, uh, but I'll have a look and see if I can find anything similar, and, uh, I guess I'll be right back. I think I found them, actually. This is very, very close to the ones in the movie. Uh, the ones in the movie are a little bit thinner. I'm not entirely sure exactly what wheels they are on this thing. But they're a little bit thinner. They obviously don't have that little... If you guys can see on one of the spokes, it doesn't have that angle. Um, so the closest ones, honestly, uh, are probably these ones. If we had these ones but in six spoke instead of uh, five spokes, these would be the closest ones to it. But I think... These ones are very, very close. They're very, very thin. Yeah, I don't think there's any other wheel that even comes close to that. As for our wheel size, um, let's have a look. See if there's any specifics. If there's any specifics, then I'll just put the actual wheel size on them. Styling. Uh, doesn't really say anything there. Uh, wheels and tires. We do have HRE wheels. Hello. 
We do have HRE wheels. Except they are 446Rs. So they are HRE wheels. I was very close to actually putting those on. We don't actually have that specific wheel in the game. So the 446Rs four, four, are the wheels and these are the 445Rs. Four, four, so th that's why I said these are the closest ones to the actual wheel. If only there were 6 spoke instead of 5. Which is what that is in uh, in the movie. The 446Rs four, four, are the 6 spokes version of those wheels pretty much. So that's why these ones are staying on. They're very very close to the actual ones in the movie. Uh, apparently they're 19s. So we'll change them all to 19s. Front and rear. Um... And as for everything else, I'm going to leave that the way it is. They're 285s, supposedly. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with 285s, I guess, uh, all around. There we go. That's the one thing that I didn't actually really change. 285, 30, 19s. This is literally the, the wheel setup that was on, on the car in the movie. Okay. Uh, not bad. Not bad. We're actually getting a little bit more closer to what we're... What we're looking for in the movie. Um, so yeah, okay, not bad. Uh, I think everything else I'm gonna just you know start upgrading, bring that up to. Actually, what's the weight of this thing? That's that's one big big thing here. If I can get this thing as close as possible to the weight, that would be perfect. So let me just have a look here. Exactly, it says three hundred or three hundred three thousand eight hundred and forty five pounds. So uh, LB to kg. Let's do this exact. So, 3845, 3845, that is 1,744 kilos, which is a lot. The car in the movie did have a bunch of audio stuff added into it, like subs and speakers and all that sort of stuff, and amps. So, that's one thing that obviously we're not going to be having in this game. So, this is already a lot lighter than uh, the car in the movie, so I don't really have to do anything else there. I will add a cage to it and all that stuff. Actually, let's do that now. I'll add a royal cage to it. I'm pretty sure the car in the movie does have a cage on it as well. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think it does by the looks of things. Yep. I see I see a cage from any of these scenes that I'm looking at here. Yeah, I do, I do. I see I see a cage. Or at least at least a strut race or anything like that. But yeah, I, I definitely see a cage. Okay. Um, as for everything else, uh, I'm going to upgrade my brakes to... Uh, I'll do, just do sports brakes, to be honest. Um, as for my suspension, uh, probably just keep it on sports suspension, to be honest. I'll probably just do sports everything. Um, I know we won't have the adjustability and all that sort of stuff, but I, I'm going to just do sports everything. I feel like it'll, it'll be good enough for this thing um, to drive well. Um... Unlocks differential tuning. I mean, we don't really have anything here. It, it'll just literally unlock the diff. So I might just leave that the way it is. Don't really care about that. Uh, brakes and all that has already been changed. Now, power-wise, I did say, what, 450 horsepower? That's 450 horsepower without NOS. Technically, we don't have NOS in game. So 420 to 450 horsepower without NOS. 0 to 60. 0 to 60 says 4.2 seconds. 0 to 109 seconds. Quarter mile time of 12 seconds. Okay, so that is, oh, it's on 19-inch street tires, so we could go, okay, you know what, because it says street tires, let's do some street tires then, we'll go street tires, fine, if the game says, or if the, the, the wiki says street tires, we'll do street tires, I'll upgrade my exhaust uh, to something, um, there's a bunch of things I can upgrade, actually, I'll, I'll upgrade everything, uh, I'm not going to bore it out. I'm going to leave that the way it is. I'm not going to also... Actually, it has adjustable cams, doesn't it? Like, I think it... Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to upgrade my cams to... Well, it's 438 horsepower. If I do a main take upgrade here, there's 450 horsepower dead on. Weighs 1,592 kilos. I might just keep this like this. I, I think it'll be fine like this. Okay. So, supposedly... Right, supposedly, this does... A 12 second quarter mile. I highly, highly doubt that, first of all. Um, as for my gear ratios, I'm going to shorten these down. Short gear ratios would help me accelerate a little bit better. Anything else I can't really adjust. I can't do anything. Uh, probably should have just uh, locked my diff or something like that, but I guess we'll leave that the way it is. Um, I'm going to try drag racing. I'm also going to try just driving this thing normally because that's pretty much what it's used for in a movie. It's, it's actually used to drive around corners, so I'm going to do any of that. Uh, what do I want to do? 
This doesn't make sense. I want, I want to change the color of my wheels. Okay. You know what? Instead of going into so much detail, which I probably won't be able to actually do correctly here, I need to see what are these designs with six spoke wheels. And with the wheels changed color to silver. That's what I need to see. Because then I can actually add it on. I could do this. I, yeah, actually, I could do this one. But then again, I don't know about the... Okay, this one has the... I'm, I'm looking at the wing as well. The wing is different as well. I want the wing to be blue. This one seems kind of close. It just has a different front end on it. Let's put this one on. Let's have a look, see what this design looks like. Okay, wheels are silver, good. Go with Forza Vista. Sponsors is there. I feel like this one's even nicer than the than the previous one, to be honest. Look at the fading on the bonnet. That's what I meant, like that gradient on the bonnet. That actually, this, this looks really good. I'm happy I found this one. Okay. I'm genuinely happy I found this one. The wing is a bit different because because, you know, kind of that specific wing in the game, but the paint on it and everything. Okay! I'll take this. I'm gonna go to photo mode. I'm gonna grab a picture of this. Actually, I can't because the stupid Horizon Life thing is on my screen. We'll deal with that later. It's okay. Let's drive this thing. Let's actually try to drive it, finally. Uh, so, it's street tires. With 400 and something horsepower. Can I actually do a 12? A 12 second quarter mile. I don't think there's a hope in hell that I'm going to be able to do that. This looks great. This looks great. A little bit more gradient on the side, I think would have been a little better for the uh, for the stripes. Um, it does seem to have it just ever so slightly, but just a little bit more faded, I think it would have been slightly better. It's a nice design though. It is a very nice design. Again, I can't really do anything about the actual, uh... About the actual body kit and everything. That's not bad! That was actually 12 seconds! Quarter mile, 12 seconds. 12.3. That's interesting! Okay, that actually worked! Okay. Nice. You can see now that there's like a very good correlation between the actual speed in the game and the speed in real life when it comes to power and that. Which is good to see. It's good to see. You never want to have like a video game that makes you drive or makes you feel like it's a lot faster than what it actually is. Or slower even. Like if you have pairs that aren't like thousand horsepower, but they're terrible. This is quite nice. I like it. Well, this is it. This is the build. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Since this is supposed to handle quite well, I'm going to bring it over to Fortune Island and uh, try to go up or down that, that needle climb and just see how good it actually is at handling. I haven't actually touched this. You guys have seen what my tune is on this. It's literally standard stock. I can't really adjust anything. I put everything's like sports spec on this thing. I, I didn't put racing anything on it. Um, however, it is on street tires, which is what the current movie is supposed to be on. So... We'll see. We'll see. Also, the current movie is a little heavier than this, so technically... Technically... This in the game is... Maybe a little slower? Then again, then again, it's without nitrous, so maybe with nitrous... In the quarter mile... It would be that fast. But the current movie is about 200 and something kilos heavier. Alright, let's go down the hill, let's have a look. Obviously, that diff is not made for my wheels to lock up. It is an open diff. They're not lock up, but like lock together. It's not locking diff, there you go. <laughs> That's what I'm on about here. Yeah, it's not a locking diff.
Honey goes is quite good. I can definitely get it to go sideways a little bit. If I just upset the balance. I can definitely get it to do it. See what I mean? There it goes. Sideways. But honey wise, not bad. Again. Doesn't have a lot of power. But just for handling. It's more than enough. Sounds great. It looks good too. I'm happy with it. I am happy with it. Let me know what you guys think of this build. And let me know what you guys think I should do next on building an icon. What car has gotten you into racing, into cars? Whatever it is that you guys would like me to try and build. Let me know down in the comments below. Obviously, check out the previous video so you don't comment you know, one of the ones that I've already done uh, so far. So, yeah, definitely check those videos out. Let me know what you guys think and uh, leave your suggestions down below. But for now, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, as usual, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on other social medias. Links to those down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it and uh, share it. Do whatever it is that you guys want to do to it. But yeah, for now, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.